The program for the study of neural development in rare disorders is a program that I started about 15 years ago and it really wanted to address the multidisciplinary needs of children that have genetic diseases of the brain that are neurodegenerative. So the program has different areas, uh, one of which is clinical services. Um, it also has a research component and a, and a training component. The clinical service component is um, a way to provide clinical services to children with these diseases. Um, the reason why we are multidisciplinary is because when you have a disease of the brain that is neurodegenerative, usually these diseases affect besides the brain, um, different parts of your body. So initially our um, hope was to help families clinically, but because these are rare diseases with incidence of one in 100,000 to one in 200,000, um, the moment we start getting a lot of different patients, we realized that we had um, really a responsibility to be able to understand these diseases better, and that's where our research started. We started um, understanding what was the natural progression of the disease, and in those diseases in which treatments were developed, then we tried to understand what would be good endpoints to evaluate if a treatment was helping or not. Well, one of the other things that we realized very quickly listening to families' stories is that uh, it took them a long time, an average of nine to 12 months to get a diagnosis. And the reason why this happens is because most doctors have maybe seen one of these patients in their lifetime or maybe never. And so they are usually misdiagnosed Many of the symptoms are symptoms that we commonly see in the population. And we felt that if we didn't train physicians, they, this will continue to happen. And one of the issues is that if you get diagnosed late, but let's say there is a treatment, then your brain is too affected to recover. So we uh, not only provide the clinical service, but we also provide consultations with physicians and with families. We started something called the virtual medical home which is a way to connect even with families that can never make it here or doctors who can never come and train in our program. Through this virtual medical home, we are able to provide consultations. Um, so we are a resource for any physician who ha has a patient with a rare disease that affects the brain and that is fatal and degenerative.